What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So continuing exactly where we left off, here is the ladder that we kicked down. There is the vestige. We're just going to take this path right back around to where we came from. Remember, we're going to need to pull out the lamp. Cross. If you really want, we could, well, we could just speed this up a little. Let's go umbral and then run on over and exit umbral, but, you know, I'm not that worried. Not exactly a long walk, but anyway, continue on. We're going to make our way up. Now, as we get our way up here, you'll notice there's an archer all the way back there. I want to try and get good lock on her. There we go that out. Kill the dog there. We're gonna umbral through here and then drop it really fast. Around this corner. Umbral right through here. Ooh, the trapper crossbow. Now that is not a guaranteed drop, but if you get one, it's quite nice for strength builds. Now, up top, you can see we have a gargoyle that's waiting to strike, so go ahead and pop him. Pick him out. Some nuggies. And we'll go ahead and pick up the grievous right now. Oh, so there were two gargoyles. Not a problem. So from here, pretty much once once we uh, round the corner here, there's going to be an exit umbral, so we we'll just run on ahead and hit that real fast. We're going to be going back in uh, very shortly, but I actually looked over at my notes. It even says, beware two gargoyles. Uh, but up ahead, we have another prosthesis knight. So we'll go ahead and bop him a little bit. Oh god, I whiffed that dodge very poorly. Alright, heal up. I'm gonna start gobbling up some mana stone clusters here. Alright, so we're gonna continue following this path. And eventually we are going to cross right over there. Uh, if you're worried, you can plant a seedling right here. I don't think it's that needed, but you know, if it's something you're you're stressing out about. And put one there. And back here, the poisoning knife. to go into Umbral again. We have one. It's right here. There's a shadow. If you're really lucky, usually you can sneak up on that particular shadow, which is why I like popping Umbral over there, but fortunately it didn't work out this time. It's okay though. Like that, go ahead and top off our health. Alright, we're gonna follow this around. Actually, put the extra five points in stamina. I feel like I'm 
using it more than I was even with my heavy build. Oh, we got a ruck rune. Very nice. They continue ahead. Uh, there should be some gargoyles waiting to ambush us. I'm going to try and kill her from the back here to make my life a little bit easier. Everything she can to avoid actually coming over here and fighting me. There's the gargoyles. Let's try and just knock knock one of them down. There we go. This thing's a little easier. The other gargoyle. It's hard because of the, the lock on. Is where we're just basically like swinging around trying to get the lock on the gargoyle. It's locking on to stuff like this. Alright. Frozen in the sword. If you're playing a wither build, this is a pretty solid weapon. That's what I'm currently using my wither build for the walkthrough prep scales up decently well and it uh, has a fair amount of frostbite on it which is nice not a lot of weapons boast frostbite so we're going to pull this make sure I got everything here um, uh, enter umbral Pop the seal, kill the reaper, pop the second seal, fairy enthralls two gargoyles, pop the belly, proceed back to where the night was, pull the ember bridge. Okay. Looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and snipe the gargoyle. And for this next part, you, if you're like a little tri it's kind of tricky here, but you can actually jump over this. I don't have a lot of luck with it, so instead what I'd suggest you doing is hitting the ground and then rolling and just running immediately. And get up here and exit uncle. Now the reason being, as you saw there, there are there's a wither mage, a wither mage, two gargoyles, and the whole trap here is that there is a uh, explosive things over here. So it's basically set up to try and kill you while you're in Umbral. Not a very fun encounter setup. Uh, but after that, we're going to go up ahead. I am going to pop another Mana Stone Cluster. We have a, another Sorceress here. Very similar to the, the boss that we fought, but this is a more basic version of that same enemy. So if I can get a... Looks like she's going for the Fire Mines. I'm just going to go in on her hard. There we go. Beautiful Smite proc there. Uh, if you're in Umbral, there's also going to be a Reaper over here, so something to be aware of. Pick up the Bow of the Convert. Uh, over here, this is a Sunless Skyn door, so we can't open that until much later, but it, it basically just connects the zones. I'm going to go over this way. Let's hope we kick him off. Get him. And then we want to drop down here. It'll pick us up the cinder arrows. And then roll through to where we had just gone. Run on back. And then right back to where we were. Except we're going to go into Umbra. And then we're going to hit that. And we're going to go up and see the Reaper over there. I'm just going to ignore him. And instead, close enough that we can grab this. Oh, ah, I don't know what hit me. Spoopy. You even got me. Oh, it's some gargoyles. Oh, they're not a concern. We've exited Dumbrel. And you can heal if you need, but we're actually, we're just going to run right past this because the new vestige is right up ahead, so. 
Run, run, run. Dip on in. Up the stairs. And then you win. We are now at Lydia the Numbwitch. So this is uh, Kalrath Alehouse. It's a good way to think of this as like halfway through Kalrath. Okay. Let me scroll my notes. Alright. So we are going to grab this. That's the map. Then we're going to round the corner here and talk to Justin. Just burn through his dialogue and give him a berry. The head, that's a good sign. Belkius, I don't know. He'll sort out. Fly me, eh? The inserts. See? I feel like I could know monster. <laughs> For them, look out baddies. All right, so once he does the look out baddies, you're all set on that dialogue. I'm going to run back out. I'm going to kick this down. And do it fast, because that sorceress over there, she will path and start attacking you if you wait too long. We obviously don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and buff our weapons. And now we're going to just kind of work through this zone, killing everything that we have. So we have that guy. And these withered will actually, uh, think of them like mini sorceresses. They'll try and cast on you, so very aggressive on them. Don't give them any time to breathe. And drop down right here. And then there's, it's a little tricky getting down, as you can see. There we go. We made it down, though. You can see over there, he has a uh, thing that's protecting him. There are some dogs as well. Alright, once we get rid of that, we can take him out. Damn. Really th thought that I could just stagger through that attack. And you can approach this however you want. I would suggest you save the, the pit for last. Uh, but we're just going to kind of work through here, killing everything we see. And then we'll we'll uh, loot back and get the loot. So, I'd heard things centuries burn through his dialogue. Okay. That one. That. that. I lost my buff. Pull it back up. At the Orcs rune. I'm just gonna run down and beat her up. Smite proc. Beautiful. I'm going down. Got another bow. There's a Rogar that wants to die. This is a shortcut. You don't necessarily need to get this, but if you want, you know, just to add to the, the world interconnectivity. Uh, this is, is all the way back to... Well, actually, I can tell you exactly where it's at. Remember in the last episode how we fought our way past two of them right where it started lagging? Where we got the, uh, the flail thing? That's where we're at right now. So, this just allows you to get back there. Here is the, uh, the little pathway. I said after you pop out of it, you're going to end up fighting some Rogar guys that try to ambush you. Right, so we grab that. Uh, afterwards, we can make our way over here. Oh, him. this at the end of the bridge. Uh, that is also reached via a sunless skein door that we open significantly later, so don't worry about it. And I love how, just how easy it is to cruise through after you know where everything is at. It's night and day. So that loot over there we're going to get in a second. Come up here. And then jump over. And along with that going to be quite a few of these guys, so. There we go. Got the nuggets. 
have our ranged attack on deck. And we're going to be... Ah, I don't know if I can make this jump. I know I can get there. That's a mimic. Um, the reason we saved the pit for last is that there's a mimic here. The last thing I want is for people to get caught out. Pick up Dark Oath. Go ahead and yank the Mimic. Pick up that. The Mimic exit is there. Over here. Alright, now we can go and get this stick. You can't just run off like this. You had everyone at the orphanage worried sick. I know it's not easy, but it can be a frightening place at times, so I want to give you something very special I had when I was a little girl. When I knew this thing, I'd hold it very, very tightly. She's taking her out. And I knew there was no Go ahead and exit now. Nothing to be afraid of, Elian. I promise. This is the Odd Stone, which is uh, basically a reusable anti-holy buff. Um, I believe you have to talk to Pieta to refill it every time, but I'm not 100% on that. It's something I haven't actually tested. Uh, but I think we're done. Let's see, Iron Wayfair, we got the Orcs Rune, Shortcut Door, Infantry Bow, got the Fragment Upgrades, the Upgrade Mats, the Mimicked, and the Tanked. So we are set. And now we're actually ready to uh, move forward and explore the region beyond the alehouse, which is going to be what will lead us up to the spurned progeny. Um, get that to 40, and then I think I'll dabble on... Uh, oh, no, I have more. Yeah, so we'll go one more, and then I'll, I'll probably start focusing on, on uh, other stats again. Uh, so from here, we want to go... Actually, we didn't get the set. We get the set. I think we get the set later, but we can grab it now. It doesn't matter. Let's scroll this. Um, okay. I didn't tab back into the game. There we go. All right. So, did we? Let's rest. Let's start in half cocked. All right. So, now that we are ready to go in, pull, we can drop down, down, that's going to get us the pro set. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buff my weapons up. And this next part, I want you to be very, very cautious. So, looking down, you can see there are tons of mines. So, drop. And then just very, ah, very carefully work your way past the mines. I want you to do and around the corner and immediately take that thing out before it has a chance to do anything. After doing so, we have a dog over here. Then, strength builds rejoice because it's grandsword time. So I'm not going to be calling out every weapon we find, uh, but some weapons absolutely deserve callouts. Uh, for example, Axe of Plate, which we found previously. I mean, it has split damage and bleed and Inferno and scaling. Super, super good. Uh, but more importantly, what we just found, Sword of Skin and Tooth, is a phenomenal Grandsword. This has uh, goes up to A- in, sure, A plus in strength. Physical, a little bit of fire baked into it. It has 200 burns, so this is going to basically light enemies on fire and cause them to take damage over time. Uh, out of the various Grand Swords I leveled up in my playthrough, if you're doing a pure strength build, this was the strongest pure strength Grand Sword I have found. In fact, the only weapon that I found on my strength playthrough that outscaled that uh, was the Wayfarer's Hammer, which you get very, very late into the game. So, if you're playing, if you're just, you know, if you're playing Ungabunga, slap upgrades into that thing and it's going to carry you all the way to the end. Fire enemies, doesn't matter. Just use it. 
All right, so uh, this part right underneath us, we might even be able to get it from here. Let's try. Did we? We did. How wonderful. So we're just going to plunge now, and we're going to clear out all the trash that's here. that's supposed to be hard about this encounter is these are all protected by a parasite, but not the case anymore. That gets a scale breaker. We can umbral and open this up over here if we want to exit umbral. This loot's always a little weird to grab, so kind of do a running jump to get up on top of it. I think there's actually a fairy here if we want. No, she must be later. All right, uh, let's see. Exit right and go up, dropping down, lantern the vacuums, scale breaker below, umbral through the wall, cross over and go back to the shortcut ladder. Okay. So we want to run and jump right here. And we're going to cross this way. Let's see a couple different enemies below. And this is going to take us to another ladder shortcut that'll get us back to our vestige. that ladder down. Right. So continuing back, you don't have to go in Umbral, but I do recommend it for the, the next area. Uh, it's just we're going to be going through a house that's on fire and you know the easiest way to deal with the fire is to just be in Umbral and it's not going to be a concern at all. As you can see it's already hitting us. So pop your Umbral. There's a fire dog we're going to take out. Some trash enemies. Over here, grab this. I can't go back down there. I just can't stop the darkness. Cinder bolts. Has it's, it's we got the cinder the arrows earlier. You. Whispers to you. Close my eyes at night, and every time it's like I'm back down in the mine, like I'm trapped, and I'll never escape, and I can't breathe, and there's that something second, looming yeah. over me, over the whole world. This is the Adir Ring. Right, and from here, I position myself right. Drop down and hit that thing. Take it out. Drop and get that in a second. All right, that's looking good. to go for the next area. We're going to actually want to reset and enter Umbral first. Let me confirm here. Uh, let's see. Umbral to the house. We got the stigma, the cinder bolts. We got the ring. We dropped. We got the tanked. Burger all enthralls. Rest if needed. Take a shortcut. Okay. So, yes. Um, I'm going to... Well, we need to exit Umbral. So I don't believe there's an exit nearby, so... We are going to take the, the run to get back. And this is a little a little tedious, unfortunately, to get back to where we want to go. We need to we need to go there. And then there. Yeah, there was one of you. I'm here, I'll kill it. Three XP. Who doesn't want a large mana stone cluster? Oh. 
Alright. That's where we're going next is uh, basically a straight shot from the, the shortcut. So we can just go back, we'll, we'll rest up from here, and then we'll go uh, tackle that and then get another shortcut that comes all the way back here and that's going to be where we wrap up this episode. So from here, we are going to go. Here we go. Go this way. Oh god, I didn't even rest. And my kid ran in the room, and I was like, hang on, bud. Everything wants a piece of me right now. This time we're not going to pop Umbral because we are literally just running straight through, not exploring anything. And once we get to here, we can drop down. You're going to take a hit, that's okay. Let's go ahead and heal. Take this baddie out. Big hit there. Alright, so after the Ruiner is dead, I want you to just make a loop around picking up loot. You're gonna have to kill a couple of, uh, couple basic guys. That's it. We got the loot in the back. We got the Tassara's Axe. Those were the two big ones. So, we're going to heal. And now we are ready to enter Umbral. Alright, first thing is first. We want to pop off the Withered Mages. Take those guys out now. And with that, we gain access to our Andaluvian Chisel, the first of three, which will allow us to upgrade our lamp. So, with him dead, all we're gonna do is run on up ahead, kill a doggy, don't plant a seed, we have a shortcut going back in just a second here. Going to exit. Back on into here for some goodies. And we're gonna run over here. And we're gonna kick this plank down. Which then you can see we are able to run straight through here. Ah, the wrong room. We're in the wrong room. Straight through here, but not with that room. Uh, and this will take us right back over. To, to where we want to be, our rooftop connection. 
that we are all the way back at the visage. So uh, we are going to wrap things up there with this, this shortcut done. We want to go upgrade our lantern because it's obviously huge being able to get that. Uh, so we are going to make our way back. And rest. And warp on back to sky rest. Okay. And I believe we Several can get one out of you. The hallowed, many have, but Latimer was... And talk to her about stone. the odd stone. It looks... When I was a girl, I, I, I lost this, but now I wish I could say the same. Yeah, we do need to, which works out because we get another one uh, in just a little bit here. Go ahead and talk to him. We can now upgrade our umbral lamp. And then by doing so, we are able to add an additional socket. Now remember, we're going to be gaining the secondary socket effect here. So personally, I'm a big fan of the one we already have, Pale Butcher, uh, with that. And then this in the primary, that's going to give us three charges. And on top of that, it's going to regenerate any time we're in Umbral, which is extremely powerful. Uh, they also patch this up now. You can spend three eyes to get a Umbral Scouring, which is not too bad. That's actually pretty good value. Um, so, you know, that'll definitely make uh, getting the Scourings to get everything needed for the Platinum Trophy significantly easier than it was before, since we didn't have a, uh, you know, an infinite source of them previously. But either way, we're going to wrap things up here from the alehouse. We've we've essentially completed that portion of the zone. Uh, the next part we're going to go in is the tower that leads to the boss. So y'all stay tuned, and I'll catch you as soon as we continue.